hello how do we find the value of x y and z in this equation so let's call this equation one and let's call this equation two so now we are going to subtract equation one from equation two that is two minus one so we are going to have x plus y z minus this guy so we have x y plus z equals what that will be 24 20 24 minus 20 23 so this gives x plus y z minus times x y that is minus x y minus times z that is minus z equals 24 minus 23 that is 1 so now let's combine the common terms we have x here we have x here so we have x minus x y plus y z minus z equals to 1 so let's pull out the common terms x is common here we have x into 1 minus y in this case z is common but let us pull out minus z to make life easier so we have minus z into 1 minus y equals 1 so let's check if what we have done is right x times 1 that's x x times negative y that's minus s y minus z times 1 that is minus z minus z times negative y that is plus y z equals to 1 so let's proceed further so this implies 1 minus y times x minus z equals what? 1. For well, in this case, we are going to do some manipulation here. 1 can be written as 1 times 1. Likewise, we can write 1 as negative 1 times negative 1. So let's call this the case 1, the first case, and this will be case 2, the second case. So let's consider case 1 first for case 1. So we are going to have this guy to be equals 1 minus y times x minus z equals what? That will be 1 times 1, which gives 1 minus y equals to 1, and uh, x minus z equals to 1. From this guy, we observe that y equals 0. So when this guy comes to the right and this guy goes to the left, so y equals 0. So now, how do we find the value of x and z since we have obtained the value for y? back to equation one, 1 and 2 when y equals 0 here clearly this guy vanish so z equals 20-23 so when y equals 0 we have z to be equals 20-23 likewise when y equals 0 into equation 2 so this guy will vanish so s will be equals to 20-24 also x equals 20-24 so for, for for the first case for case one for case one we have x to be equals what our uh, x is twenty twenty four and y equals zero and z equals twenty twenty three so now let's consider the second case case two when y equals to negative one times negative one so we are going to have we are going to have 1 minus y times x minus z equals negative 1 times negative 1 instead of having 1 times 1. So this implies 1 minus y equals minus y and uh, x minus z equals what? Minus 1. From here, you will observe that y will be equals to 2. And when this guy goes to the left and y goes to the right, so we have y to be equals to 2. So we are going to substitute the value of y when y equals 2 so we are going to substitute it into equation 1 and 2 so when y equals to 2 so we are going to have 2x plus z equals 23 for, for the first case so we have 2x plus z equals 20 23 also when y equals to 2 yeah this is going to be 2z plus x so we have x plus 2z equals 2024. So let's solve this guy simultaneously. So we call this plus and we call this plus plus. Let's multiply this guy by z by 2 rather. So we multiply this one by 1. We are going to use the elimination method here. So 2 times 2x that is 4x. 2 times z that is 2z. 2 times 2023 that will be 4046. So 1 times this guy, we just get this guy back. So we have x plus 2z equals 2024. Now, we can easily subtract this guy. 4x minus x, that is 3x. This guy gives 0. 40 
46 minus 24, that is 20, 22. So now, let's divide both sides of this equation by 3. So we are going to have x equals 20, 22 divided by 3, that is 6, 7, 4. So we have obtained the value of x. Now, to determine the value of z, you know, this is y. We have already obtained the value of y also, y equals to 2. Now, to determine the value of z, we just have to substitute the value of x into any of these equations. So let's plug the value of x here. So we are going to have 6, 7, 4 plus what? That will be plus 2z equals 20, 24. So this implies 2z equals 20, 24 minus 6, 7, 4. So this gives 2z equals 1, 3, 5, 0. So this gives z to be equals 1, 3, 5, 0 over 2. So we have z to be equals plus 6, 7, 5. So the value of z equals 6, 7, 5. And we have x to be 6, 7, 4, y equals to 2. So that is the solution.